evening, everyone, and welcome to Check It Out, the library talk show that lets you know what's happening in and around the Bethel Park Public Library. We're your hosts, Elaine Volpe and Christine McIntosh, and it's been a very exciting spring so it far has. around the library. Um, if, if you come in, you'll see that we got all new computers for the library, mm -hmm. so I wanted to take a moment to, to thank the Allegheny Regional Asset District. Um, they provided a $3.1 million grant to the EI Network um, to purchase 2,464 new computers for all libraries in all Allegheny computers. County. Um, so they're, they're all high performance, uh, much faster. We, we're on a cycle. We typically replace our, our computers. It was every three years. And then with COVID, um, we went to a fourth year because the prices were just too high. Mm. But it worked out because then Rad stepped in and um, paid, just outright paid for all of these computers. So enjoy the new computers and thank you to the Regional Asset District. We have um, some programs going on for adults. Wise Walk started um, actually May 9th. It meets on Thursdays at 9.30 a.m. At, in South Park at the Children's Playground. So this program is 10 weeks. If you can't come to all of them, that's okay. Uh, if you can, even better. You, no need to register. Just show up at 9.30 in South Park at the Children's Playground. It's geared towards adults that are 50 and older. Um, Carla, Carla facilitates and walks with everybody. And she says some of the some of the women walk way faster than her, and, <laughs> and some don't. Elaine would be in that <laughs> fast walking <laughs> I'm a group. Speed walker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love that this program has been going on for so long. Been going on for many many years. It, it was part of um, I think Highmark originally, mm -hmm. and we've just continued it because so many people enjoy it. Sure. Enjoy yeah. it. So we do it in the in the spring and then in the fall. <clears throat> we have an introduction to the life of Abraham Lincoln on Wednesday, May 15th at 6.30 p.m. This is presented by Jack Puglisi, and it will just introduce the life and career of America's greatest president, who also was a wrestler. Really? Yes, since I married into a family of, you know, wrestlers, yes, high school did. and college, youth high school, college wrestlers. That was my fun fact for the day. That, that, is, a, that is a fun fact, but I feel like I know, I feel like I should know that, and I didn't, yeah. just because uh, Max, who I sometimes hang out with, is uh, so into the presidents, and we have read so many books about presidents together um, that I'm surprised that I've never heard that about Lincoln, but I haven't. Well, I will send you the link to the <laughs> reputable source. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we have a, a, a seminar on divorce mediation on Saturday, May 18th at 11 a.m. This is presented by Janet Boma, who is a divorce mediator and a financial planner. So this workshop will help you decide if divorce is the outcome that you desire. I hate to use that word. Nobody wants divorce, but sometimes right. it's necessary. And how mediation can help you achieve a sense of financial justice, emotional closure, and how you and your a strange spouse can learn um, ongoing communication skills because that so is very important, important especially if you're especially um, if co-parenting, if you right. have children involved. Right. Our friends of the library will meet on Tuesday, May 28th at 7 p.m. in the adult program room. Um, the friends have been very active this spring, so they had the designer bag bingo. Which is a lot of fun. I was there. Yes. Well, they raised over $13,000 with that it's one amazing. event. And then they had a pop-up book sale at the end of April, and they raised over $1,500 in one Wonderful. day. Wonderful. I was so wondering how that went. It went very well. Over 1500 in one day. In one day. Well, it's very, th this is our last one down at Evie's because Andy um, has rented some of his storefront space sure. next to the store. And so and that's know, where we were yeah, having that's our where we were having our sale so we'll so no longer it'll be back here in council in chambers okay. um, but it was so good because people see it as they drive by and they would just pull in right it was much more visible and right. we thank you Andy for hosting us these many years yes. in your parking lot and providing the tent and you know staff to help us set up um, so yes the friends are doing some really fabulous work and those funds all come back to the library <clears throat> Adult summer reading will be starting, let me see, wait, I have my sheet. Adult summer reading June 3rd through July 28th. So you can read or listen to any book, no magazines, no newspapers. 
and you can fill out an entry form either online, wait, I think summer's only online, fill out a, an entry form online for each item read or listened to, and you will be entered into a weekly drawing for a $25 gift certificate, gift card, and everyone that has participated, whether it's just, you know, you read one book or you read 20 books over the summer, all entries are submitted for the grand prize, which this year is a Kindle Fire HD8 tablet. And all entries must be received by July 28th. So, very exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and then I wanted to talk a minute about the Rad Pass. You may have seen on the news uh, few, within the last few weeks about staycation, Pittsburgh staycations and the Rad Pass. So uh, again, the, the Allegheny Regional Asset District is working with, their, with some of their assets, some of the arts um, organizations. So the Rad Pass is an online ticketing platform um, that allows library card holders to access free and discounted tickets to cultural assets in Allegheny County. Um, so we've been getting a lot of calls about is my library card still valid? Because if, if you go on it, to where you can reserve these tickets, you have to put in your library card number and your PIN. So we've been a lot doing a lot of PIN resets. I think we've, yes, we have. <laughs> so anyone 18 or older with a library card can log in. When you log in, um, you can see the uh, available offers and you can reserve um, like if you wanted to reserve passes for the zoo, you could only do that once in a calendar year. So this is right. going to be an ongoing program. And you can have two total offers reserved at a time. Um, so some of the participating organizations, the Andy Warhol Museum, August Wilson Center, um, the Carnegie Art Natural History Science Center, Children's Museum, Frick, which has a great art display this summer. Oh. Um, Latin American Cultural Center, the Hazlitt Theater, Pittsburgh Arts and Lecture, Botanic Garden, Cultural Trust Opera, Public Theater, Prime S Stage Theater, and then also for the summer only, the Heinz History Center, the Mattress Factory, the Aviary, Phipps Conservatory, the Zoo, Quantum Theater and Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall and Museum, which I was at like last year, and it's it's really cool. I had never been oh, in there. Yeah, I've gone, very I went interesting. By it for, That's where the Children's Choice Awards used yes, to be held. Yes, I remember. Maybe oh, maybe that was why I was there. Yeah. I don't know. So many wonderful places to visit, and so um, many great opportunities for a stay occasion. I yes. Love it. So you you can uh, visit radpass.org. That's where you would um, then type in your library card and PIN. And it was overwhelming the first week. Once they had it on um, TV in particular, it was overwhelming. And people were like, so are all the passes gone for the whole summer? No. They add new passes weekly, sometimes daily. So they, they ask that you check back very frequently because just because all the zoo passes are sold out um, today. Does it mean that more won't yes, become available? Yes, more will become available weekly, some of the assets daily. And then we have coming up Party in the Park, Yay. which is very exciting. This is our third year doing Party in the Park. So um, you can check out this promotion and learn more about Party in the Park. Oh, 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 I'm late, I'm late. Oh, I'm late, I'm late. I'm late! You're not late, and you're not late. Nobody is late. There is still time for Party in the Park, May 25th. Party in the Park is happening right here at South Park Theater on Saturday, May 25th from 4 to 8 p.m. There are lots of activities and things to do. You can look forward to our children's theater performing a preview of the 2024 season here on the outdoor stage. We'll also be featuring our first ever miscast cabaret with performances from uh, classic musicals by excellent singers who are maybe miscast for those particular roles. Should be a really funny great time. And new this year at Party in the Park, we are going to have artists 
from our artist guild come down setting up booths so you're going to see some amazing work from four different artists we also have antique cars some classic cars including a uh, classic race car so you got to come down if you're a car enthusiast and also besides that the master gardeners who have been transforming this entire facility into some amazing gardens they're going to be here to talk about the gardens how they're doing what they're doing with it and maybe you can talk them into a little bit of demonstrations on it so many 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 reasons to come to this year's party in the park so in addition to having our regular basket raffles and our 50-50 raffles, we have a new event this year. We're having a spring bulb drop. So you can purchase a bulb, which is really a foam golf ball, for $10. And then at seven o'clock, they will be dropped into the beautiful garden here at South Park Theater for a chance to win $1,000. So it's not too late. Come on out, May 25th here, Party in the Park, South Park Theater, beautiful South Park Theater, from four o'clock to eight o'clock for food, drinks, fun, laughs, theater, fire trucks, antique cars, everything. And where do you get tickets, you might ask? Christine? Well, you can get them at EV True Value Hardware, at the library, here at the theater, or you can get them online. Party in the Park, May 25th. Don't be late. So we hope to see you Saturday, May 25th. I know it's Memorial Day weekend, but we're gonna, we have a lot of great things planned. Sounds like a wonderful time. That's what's going to, on. Yeah, okay, so over to me. We too are starting our summer learning program. So I'm gonna start just by briefly explaining that. Um, our programs will start the week of June 3rd. The actual summer learning kickoff though is on Saturday, June 1st, and we have, um, entertainer Howard Mincone coming, who does a variety of things, but we've asked him to juggle. Um, oh. and he does some stand-up comedy too, so as he's juggling, he'll be telling some jokes, I'm sure. He's just a very entertaining guy. We've had him here um, before, but it's been quite a while. Mm -hmm. I was trying to think back when, it's probably been over 10 years. Um, he also recently, in talking to him, keeps bees, which fascinates me. I don't know how much you know about I just, keeping. bees are important for pollination. Uh, right, you know, I was always afraid of them as a youngster. I'm, I still like kind of freak out when I, I see. I don't like wasps or hornets, but honeybees, there were two in my house over the weekend. And oh gosh. I, well, I, I got them and I took them outside and I, oh, wow. I gave them a little bit of water and a, and a um, water bottle lid. You know, yeah. The, and yeah, so the honeybees are yeah. very. But like you said, they are just so important, to, important. Uh, <clears throat> to nature and um, so he actually is doing that as well. So I may have him come back throughout the school year to mm -hmm. present on that. But on June 1st, he's going to be juggling and entertaining for us. Uh, the theme this year is adventure. So, um, you know, I think that could be taken in so many different ways. Juggling is an adventure when you try something new, right? Mm -hmm. When you're learning a new hobby, that's adventurous. Um, so it kind of does tie in. We're very excited to be hosting him and he's going to perform at, let me make sure I get it correct. Um, He's going to be performing at 2 p.m. Our kickoff runs from 1 to 3, though, so feel free to come in earlier so that you can get your registration packet before the performance, or feel free to stay a little bit longer after he is done performing so that you can register for summer learning. I failed to bring it down here. I don't know why. Summer learning this year, when you register, you're going to get a road map, and you're going to follow along on that road and try to earn coupons and prizes along the way. So for every sign post that you color in, you'll earn a prize from our prize box. And on some of the signs, we just have uh, new and fun activities that you know will hopefully inspire you throughout the summer so that you never get bored, right? We're just in encouraging you to try new things. So it might be something as simple as visit the library, or maybe it's um, you know collect things from your backyard in nature and make a nature face, um, things like that. And every for every activity that you do, you'll earn a prize. And then at the bottom of that road map, there's also route markers, or route markers, depending on how you pronounce it, um, marked with the number three. So that represents hours that we want you to read. Those are your reading goals. So every three hours that you read, you'll get to color in a route marker, and that will earn you a coupon. Those coupons are gonna vary throughout the summer. We've had some generous donors that we should thank, actually. Um, Rita's Italian Ice has been generous and donated um, some coupons for us. Um, Piotti, Piotta, which I have not tried yet. I have not over tried that. Over by the that. village. On my list, it's so, been on my list. Yes, they donated a free kids meal. Um, so did BJ's. We are getting the Millie's ice cream coupons again. Um, 
The Y has been very supportive and oh, has given wonderful. us a free family pass to try out. Um, and I feel like I'm forgetting one. Oh, and Learning Express, donating those book bucks for us once again. So thank you to all of our generous donors. Um, coupons and prizes along the way. It's just going to be a really fun summer. Um, and actually, before I go into the programs, I think that's probably a good segue into our summer learning program that will tell you a little bit more um, about the adventure theme and how you can participate. What is adventure? How do you define adventure? According to Mr. Webster, adventure is unusual, exciting, and sometimes dangerous activity. So things like skydiving, mountain climbing, and whitewater rafting would definitely be considered adventures. But I think adventure encompasses a lot of different types of activities, even if they're not always dangerous. I love food. I mean, I love food. And consider my excursions to different restaurants around the city adventures. Even cooking in my own kitchen or here at the library can be adventurous, depending on the recipe. I have my favorite foods, but have also tried things outside of my comfort zone. I even, are you ready for this? ate a scorpion on a dare. Now that was adventurous. I was curious to see how my friends here at the library adventured, so I asked them, and here's what they had to say. My family and I love to ride roller coasters. Nothing beats the thrill of coasting down a hill at super speed or taking an unexpected turn around a twisty bend. Some of my favorite coasters are the Steel Curtain and Phantom's Revenge at Kennywood. Did you know that August 16th is National Roller Coaster Day? I wonder how many people will be flocking to amusement parks on this day to find excitement and exhilaration. Yep, riding on roller coasters is super fun in just one way how I choose to adventure. Recently while on vacation, my sister introduced me to the sport of pickleball. I loved it so much that we played every day. Pickleball is a racket sport. It's a combination of badminton, ping pong, and tennis. One thing that I love about pickleball is that it gives me so much exercise while spending time with my friends. Did you know that right here in Bethel Park, there are pickleball courts at Simmons Park, Millennium Park, and the Community Center? I loved it so much that I bought my own pickleball racket. Pickleball is how I adventure. Maybe this summer, you can have a pickleball adventure of your own. Recently, my family got a new puppy. Phew, what an adventure. You just never know what she's gonna stick her nose into next. She's discovering every single thing in this world for the very first time. I wonder what she and I will discover together. Where will all our rocks take us? What kind of new tricks will we learn together? I'll be adventuring with my new puppy, Ellie. How will you adventure? Hi, boys and girls. I enjoy many different adventurous things with my family. One thing we like to do is visit different playgrounds around the area. It's so much fun to see all the different equipment to play on, but most importantly, I love seeing all of you there. I love theater, so many of my adventures take place off stage and on stage. I like to direct and sometimes act. I make costumes and design props, and my next adventure will be bringing theater right here to the library. I love going on hiking adventures. Whether it's winter or summer, being outdoors and surrounded by nature makes me so happy. I love exploring trails and new places. And I also love hiking right here in South Park. Hiking and enjoying nature all around me is how I adventure. How do you adventure? Do you know what I think? All of these adventures sound very cool, and many of them I want to try. I would also love to ride in a hot air balloon someday. But the best adventures of all take place in books. Think about it. You can go anywhere and be anyone you want to be when you immerse yourself in a story. Your imagination takes over and you become part of the story. You're reading and reading and reading, and then suddenly it feels like you're in the book yourself. Books can take you anywhere. And the Bethel Park Library has lots of books for you to choose from. So be sure to stop by this summer and check one out. You can sign up for summer learning too and earn coupons and prizes all summer long. You can earn those by reading and by doing fun activities. Look, here's a roadmap you'll get whenever you register. There's even a spot here for you to create your own adventure. This map will guide you along all summer, and it will motivate you to read and to try lots of new things. The first day to pick up your map is Saturday, June 1st at our summer learning kickoff party. You can register after that date as well. The last day to report your time will be Wednesday, July 31st. 
So what are you waiting for? Start thinking about your adventure today. And we'll see you soon at the Bethel Park Public Library. So yes, we very much look forward to seeing how you're going to adventure this summer. Um, we would love to see pics along the way too of you participating in some of these activities. So be sure to email the Children's Department so we can post those on our social media pages and just uh, you know enjoy, mm -hmm. enjoy what you're doing. Okay, so again, those classes will start up the week of June 3rd. We're gonna start with birth through preschool first. We are hosting Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Mm -hmm. I love Pooh Bear and I love Tigger. I don't know if you have a favorite Winnie the Pooh character. I like Piglet. Do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they all are near and dear to my heart, but Pooh, Pooh Bear is probably my favorite. So we're gonna do Adventures in Winnie the Pooh. We're asking you to tigger bounce your way over for stories, songs, and activities all about Pooh Bear and his friends. This is for three to six year olds and it's on Monday, June 3rd at 10 a.m. You can begin registering um, next week, May 15th. And then all of our story times will start back up that week. So we'll have Toddler Tuesdays on Tuesday, Mother Goose on the Loose on Wednesday. We'll be offering Baby Jam on Thursday and Preschool Power on Friday. No registra registration necessary for those. And we offer them at two times, 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. We also are gonna be offering Sensory Explorers at the end of June. We'll offer it once in July as well. But on Saturday, June 29th at 10.30 a.m., Ms. Dolores is gonna host a sensory-based early literacy program um, that you know, kids will get to create, sing, read, play, and socialize with one another, the kids as well as their caregivers. Um, so each um, session will include like a small sensory art project in addition to sensory stations that you can explore throughout the room. Um, it will be geared for children ages two through five, but all ages and abilities are welcome. And for that, you'll wanna register the beginning of each month. So June 1st um, is when that will open. And then for our kindergarten through sixth grade friends, we have a lot going on. I had so much fun with little book bookworms back in March that we decided to offer that again. So we read a um, story about, you would have loved it, it was a furry friends series, it's a chapter book series, and um, foster pets. So in this case, they were fostering a Komodo dragon. Oh, yeah. But you know, there's a story about a gerbil and a story about a yeah. kitten and a story yes. about. So it was a lot of fun and we kind of read a couple chapters each time we met and then did a related activity. Of course, I'm gonna pick a new series and I haven't decided that yet, but it'll be something um, just as entertaining. This is for uh, kids entering kindergarten through second grade. Um, it'll take place Wednesdays in June at 6.30 p.m. So the 5th through the 26th um, at 6.30 p.m. You only need to register once, and I realize you might not be able to make every Wednesday. We want you to try to do that. If you have to skip to Wednesday, that's okay. You would just wanna catch up on that reading, you know, on your own. Um, but it is like a consecutive thing. You only need to register one time. Um, on Saturday, June 8th, we're gonna have a STEM exploration camp. So you can come learn about Newton's laws of motion and the four forces on flight. You'll complete mini experiments and then build your own paper airplane, considering how to design it for distance and speed. Hmm. And of course, you'll get to try those, test those paper airplanes out, see how far it'll go. This class is being uh, presented by System Coalition, S-Y-S-T-A-M, but it's S-Y, STEM. Sys get them, STEM, because they're focusing on um, STEM programs. It's for grades three through six. And we're asking you to please pack a lunch since there's gonna be a break at noon. So it goes from 10 to two. That's a long time, mm. it's a four hour camp, a half a day camp. There'll be a break um, at noon for lunch, so, so please bring a bagged lunch. And we are also asking for a $10 fee per child just to help cover the cost of this program. Still a great bargain. I mean, Oh, absolutely, under... for a half day mini camp for yeah. 10 bucks? Yeah. yeah. Um, Monday Crafternoons, we're gonna be doing this Mondays, June 10th through July 15th. You can just stop in and make a different um, summer themed craft. Um, lots of ideas. We might be making some binoculars, some safari mm. hats, um, design your own Frisbee, lots of fun things um, planned for that. But again, that's a drop by and you don't need to register. You just drop by between one and 3 p.m. on those Monday afternoons. 
We have so much going on. We have squeegee art. We have bad art contest. We have something called from page to stage that we're really excited about. So be sure that you pick up your um, flyers that just went to print earlier this week. They are ready to go and they are also viewable, viewable online. If you have any questions, you can just give us a call or shoot me an email and we'd be happy to answer those questions for you. And then for our teens, we have an escape room at the beginning of June, June 11th at 6.30 p.m. We've done these before. They've always been popular. Can you solve the puzzles to get yourself out of the library in 60 minutes or less? Those who are successful will win a prize. We're also doing a beginner cosplay club. Oh, so if I would you like have, that. Would you like, who's your favorite character? <laughs> this is like for tweens and teens, um, or teens, I'm sorry, grade seven and up. You know, if you want to like recreate your favorite character and become that character, we're going to give you tips and tricks on how to do that. Um, you know, we're going to have someone come in and help them like learn makeup and costume design. Um, I'm giving you the materials and you can start like piecing together your good costume. Good on the costumes. I, yes, I you can are. So a mean costume, but the makeup, I can't. I mean, I can't do that. Yeah. But we're going to also, you know, we're not going to spend a whole lot of money on this program. We're going to teach you how to find things around your home mm -hmm. to help make these costumes um, and become this character. So no prior sewing skills are necessary. And again, that's for grades 7 and up. And you can register beginning June 1st. We're also doing graffiti art and national park adventures. Um, adventures and game shows that I'm very, very excited about. I told Miss Megan I wanted to help with this. Um, and just lots of fun stuff coming up in July, too, that we'll talk about on next month's show. But again, all these flyers are ready to go and ready for you to view. Um, you know, take a look at it, circle what you want to do, mark that sign up date on your calendar, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. What about your um Oh yeah, the books. Series. So if we have time, I think we I think we're doing okay yeah. on time. I just wanted to start kind of start a new thing. And I know you've done this, Christine, with adult books, but I kind of mm -hmm. just want to highlight um, a new book. Um, in the children's department. And sometimes it'll be fiction, sometimes it'll be nonfiction, sometimes it'll be for older kids, sometimes it'll be for younger kids. But on today's show, I decided to um, highlight this nonfiction series that's all about healthier eating. And I think it's important because, well, two reasons, especially as we're entering the summer, right? We don't want our kids sitting in front of the TV with a bag of chips all day. Mm -hmm. We want them outside being adventurous, right? Trying new things, getting exercise, and still eating healthy. And I think summertime also provides a great opportunity to do that together as a family, because you mentioned gardening. I garden. You know, I'm not a gardener, vegetable. I don't have a vegetable green thumb, garden. but like anybody can, you know, I've, I've tried growing tomato. Anybody can try gardening and be successful. So much fun to just see, or to see To experiment, grow. right? Yeah. Like my cilantro didn't grow last year, but my peppers did really well. Um, so plant a garden together and reap the benefits of that garden, you can eat healthy just by making a delicious garden salad that you picked you know, from your own backyard. Or maybe you plant strawberries. Um, it's just a fun thing to do together that really does promote a healthier lifestyle. Wonderful new set um, that I encourage you to check out. Again, I just think you know, healthier lifestyle is so important. I myself am just trying to eat better and exercise more. I've and been exercising more, which yeah, has really helped you. with my neck, believe it or not. Yes, yeah. yes. So. Very good. So yeah, so that was my highlight for this month. Um, and that's all I have to share. I just have a few announcements. The library will be closed on Sunday, May 26th and Monday, May 27th in honor of the Memorial Day holiday. And then for the summer, the library will be closed on Sunday. So no Sunday hours from Memorial Day through Labor Day. Right. Um, so that's that's important news you need to know. Yeah, and as always, if you have any questions or comments on any of the things that we talked about on today's show, you know what to do. Go ahead and give us a call. Visit our fabulous website. Or better yet, stop in and see us in person. Take care, everyone, and we look forward to seeing you soon.